Welcome back. I'm going to show you all some lipstick shades that reminded me of the spring season. I have five shades with me here. Almost all of them look fabulous on brown skin and also pigmented lips. The first shade I have with me is actually a lip balm. It's the Blue Heaven Jelly and Butter Hydrating Lip Balm in the shade Dusty Rose. Spoiler alert, this first pick is my favorite out of all the four other lip shades in this video. Now the texture, the consistency, everything is exactly how they described it to be. The design of the lip balm is like jelly and talking about the texture when you apply it, the color slides like butter on your lips. The color is very reminiscent of my favorite lip tint of all time which you know what it is, it's the Revolution Relove tint in the shade Blush. The color, the undertone, everything looks pretty similar on my pigmented lips except Blue Heaven is a lip balm so it is more hydrating and slippery than the Relove tint. But again, this has more pigment than any other tinted lip balms I have personally tried. I reached out to this more and wore this more than, you know, all the other four uh, lip shades in this video. Now, this is shiny, it's glossy and kind of reminds me of the whole glazed donut aesthetics. This is more like a lipstick to me than a lip balm just because of the color payoff. I have to warn you that this is hydrating but doesn't retain moisture like a regular lip balm. So it's exactly not a lip balm where the hydration stay put for some hours. This is more like a glossy lipstick in my opinion. I give this 9 out of 10. With the second one, I hit the jackpot babes. This stunning nude lip shade is from Mars Cosmetics. It's in the shade 11 Play It Safe. Now, if you're on a tight ass budget, get this. Yes, the shade is absolute perfection, especially on my skin. This is like a true nude for my skin spectrum. It's like this shade is personally formulated for people with my skin tone. But Queens, this comes in a pack with two other lipsticks. So I only paid 3.99 rupees and I got three matte nude lipsticks. Those two colors are deeper than this color. So yeah, if you're on a tight ass budget, get this. You will get three amazing, universally flattering nude lip colors. Now coming back, if you like gourmand, coffee fragrance you will love this oh my god it smells like a fresh morning cup of coffee on a spring day this brown nude is on a cooler side with a very prominent yellow undertone when i swatch it on my hand it does have a slight tint of mauve in it but on my lips i see more yellow this is an intense matte lipstick that almost looked like one of those K-Beauty powdery lipsticks. I sense more of a powdery finish. Uh, bestie, you will not regret getting this shade, especially if you're on a tight budget. Y'all know I'm extra cautious when it comes to matte opaque lipsticks, but this formula is neither drying nor irritating. Uh, the color, the formula, 10 out of 10. Every brown bestie needs this lip color. You will not regret it. Next, we have the Love Earth Multi-Pot Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Watch Me Slay, which is an apt name for our video. So Watch Me Slay is a peachy light nude color, which is 10 on 10, a peppy spring nude. It's one of those nude shades that instantly puts a smile on your face. Now, this is a drying formula, so I always apply a good layer of lip balm before applying it. If you have sensitive lips, I do not recommend this lip tint because it dries down to full matte. But here, I applied a thick layer of lip balm, so it looks satiny. I actually own another color from this range called You Go Girl, which is a burnt reddish nude. And compared to that color, Watch Me Slay isn't that drying. Now, this okay came with a wax bloom so buy this on your own terms okay i'm sorry <laughs> no matter how much makeup i own wax bloom freaks the hell out of me don't get me wrong i love the shade but i really hate wax bloom it reminds me of fungus and whenever i see it i get this impulse to like scratch my entire body so yeah think of it as my cognitive bias because other than that i freaking love the color it's one of those timeless nude colors that will never go out of trend 
it's definitely a daytime color. The good thing about these pot based lip tints is that you can mix them with other lip colors or even layer it on top of you know lipstick colors that you don't like. It reminds me of one of those color manipulators meaning you can mix, you can match, create your own unique shades. The next is also a tint from Etude House. Uh, this is their Dear Darling Water Gel Lip and Cheek Tint in PK004. Now, PK004 is a light mauve tint. Remember that Blue Heaven lip balm which was also a mauve based color? Compared to Blue Heaven, this is on the brighter side meaning it has more vibrant pink in it. It is definitely on the cooler side and looks stunning on olive undertones. Look at that! Consistency and texture are exactly how they described it to be. It is a gel based tint with a runny and watery texture compared to their water tint. Uh, this takes a bit of time to fully dry down on my lips. It's pretty long lasting and this uh, pinkish mauve color is like a daily wear kind of a shade for my skin tone. Talking about skin spectrum, you can trust this pink. It's not one of those uh, magenta like kind of like 2000s cringy pink. Uh, it's one of those soft mauve pinks that kind of brightens your face. Once it is fully dried, it's pretty transfer proof and it does leave a bit of stain when you take it off. The last one is a lip tint again. Actually, no, it's a lip stain. This is the Blue Heaven Silken Stain Lip Stain in Brick Beauty. Okay, let's talk. This shade looked brown on the website. I only got it because of how the color looked on Nykaa. I don't own many brown nude lip tints, so I was excited when I placed my order. I was kind of disappointed when I got it because it does look brown on the tube, but after application, it turns rosy brown. Come to think of it, I don't own anything like this. I don't own any lip stains and I don't have anything in this color. It's, it's a very confusing color for sure. In some lighting, it looks brown. In some other lighting, it looks rosy brown. There is definitely a tint of rose in this shade. Well, never fucking mind because who cares if it has rose or brown in it it looks stunning okay again it's one of those pink colors that instantly brightens up your face i happen to have their plumping lip gloss laying around so i decided to layer the gloss on top of the lip tint okay now it looks more of a brown nude color it's a plumping lip gloss so it did tingle my lips now with the lip gloss you can see how it transitioned my makeup from a daytime look to an evening look do you see that i love it okay coming back i 100 percent recommend this lip stain for people who strictly do not have any time to reapply their lipstick you're always out and about tied up in your work this is for you it is a watery tint and it quickly dries down on the lips one of the reasons why i recommend this is because of its staying power i don't own any lip tint that stays this long bro i tried to take it off with my micellar water not once not twice but four freaking times i had to literally scrub my lips with the cotton pad soaked in micellar water to take it off and even then you can see how much the tint is still left on my lips so yeah that is it for today tell me your current favorite lipstick i want to know uh, i will see you next with a no makeup makeup look this is my first uh, no makeup makeup look so please come back i will see you next week bye guys